Pleased to be joined now by the one, the only, the internationally famous. You know him. You love him. He is likely one of your favorite players in this year's NFL draft class. From the Ohio State, it is Jackson Smith and Jigwa. Jackson, thank you so much. Got to be honest. I like initials. RJ, that's my name. JSN. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of going yes. by the initials. Right. Sounds good. It's clean. We can, we can do that. I have no problem with it. <laughs> How long have you been going by JSN? Like, is it like all your life or just kind of like, since oh. you became a, a household name, like how long? Yeah, um, honestly, just when I stepped foot in at Ohio State, they they hit me with the JSN, and it's easy, it's clean. I I, I can rock with it. You know, it's also complicated because you have the dash. I mean, you know, I, I hate like when people have underscores in their Twitter handles, but I'll make an exception for you. Um, it's yeah. understandable. I have some Cowboys <laughs> questions, if that isn't obvious, based on my uh, my background, and I'm sure you're going to yeah. enjoy them. But yeah. um, I do want to tell you something. I went to Texas A&M University, and I would never, oh, wow. ever in my life, ever say the Texas A&M. I hate mm -hmm. when people, when you're watching Sunday Night Football and somebody says, the Clemson, the University oh, yeah. of Texas. There's one the. I mean, it, and I, it bothers me, and I don't even go to Ohio State. I feel like it must bother yeah. you so much. Right. No, there's only one. I mean, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things, but at the end of the day, we know, we know who we are. Um, that's a good thing. I got to say, though, I don't like the Buckeye decal system. Like, because none of your helmets look the same. I'm a big fan you of uniformity. Like well, because, yeah. like, nobody's helmet looks the same. And it, you're, like, if yeah. your helmet looks different in December as it does September. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I mean, there's yeah. pros and cons. Um, so I just yeah. kind of feel differently about that. It is, it's my own thing. I'll deal with it um, on my end. But yeah. on the subject of Ohio State, big time day for the Buckeyes. Obviously, Garrett Wilson winning Offensive Rookie of the Year last night. Number one, how proud are you of him? And number two, how badly do you want that to be you this time next year? Man, Garrett's always been setting the standard. I mean, at least for me, uh, looking up to him and, you know, just watching him and how much he works and how much he respects the game. You know, I, I just try to take, you know, all that um, and, you know, put it in my life. And, you know, I'm super proud of him. He definitely deserved it. I mean, going, reaching what he did this year, I mean, you know, like I say, just always setting the standard. And, you know, hopefully I can get it next year. We'll see. Who's your favorite Buckeye of all time? Doesn't have to be somebody favorite, you played with. Right. Favorite Buckeye of all time? That's tough. Mm. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the great Archie Griffin, of course. Uh, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't get to watch him, but, you know, he got two Heisman. He's got he's got a lot to show for it. I met him. Um, he's, all, he's always coming up there showing love and stuff. And. I see how much, you know, people praise him and, you know, seeing, seeing the highlights and, you know, he's the real deal. So That's a good answer. Um, okay. So different question, not football at all. What's your favorite app on your phone? Favorite app? I would have to go with Instagram. Instagram over Twitter. Definitely like, over Twitter. Yeah. I've just started recently just really getting into Twitter like that. I usually try to put it cause it's just so much on Twitter, but you know, I'm, I like Twitter. Twitter's not bad, but Instagram is is more of my thing. I feel like. Yeah. See, I'm a millennial. I think you're Gen Z. Like, I don't know how that works. Um, and <laughs> we're more we're yeah. more Twitter. You know, you're more in, like yeah. you get all your information from Instagram. Like everything you need to know about the world. Uh, not everything. Not everything. That nah, not everything. But I get I get I get what I need to get. You know, from it. <laughs> that's that's well said. Uh, Twitter is yeah. a little bit more informational. And I saw yeah. a tweet that I'm sure you have heard a lot about um, in your interview cycle that you've been uh, on here with Panini. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, you quoted a tweet, obviously, uh, back in high school, Rockwall. A good friend of mine went to Rockwall High School. Um, and you oh, yeah. said, I'm going to turn up every time I'm in Jerry's world with a couple of emojis. <laughs> um, have yeah. you been asked about this tweet already? Oh, definitely. I I've seen it. You know, I've seen people... Uh, take it and run with it but no nah, i think you're the first you know virtually to ask me <laughs> well it's i cover the cowboys here at sb nation and i would be lying yeah. to you if i said everybody i'm sure people tweet their mock drafts at you all the time or tag you in them and stuff like that there is right. i would say 85 to 90 percent of cowboys fans want you to be the team's first round pick what would that feel like to you to be drafted by the dallas cowboys specifically uh specifically the dallas cowboys i mean you know, just growing up, you know, right there in Rockwall, Texas, just, you know, close and all my family, you know, being a cowboy, it would definitely, you know, be a blessing and an honor. Um, you know, I know 
that star in the helmet means something. And, you know, growing up, uh, you know, I always loved watching them play. You know, it was it was hard sometimes. I, I've been there with the fans, you know, ups and, ups, ups and downs. And, you know, it would be a blessing, you know, wherever I go. But, you know, definitely special to me, you know, if, if I was a Cowboy. Right, obviously, kind of back there. I think who was your guy? Was it Dez growing up? I have to, I have to, it had to be Dez. For sure. Uh, TO was the guy for me, definitely. Um, and then Dez, you know, took it, you know, all the 88s, you know, are great, you know, you know, when you put the 88 on, you know, different. And CDs has taken it, taken it now and, and, and ran with it. He's doing his thing. I always was a big fan of CD too, especially coming out of Oklahoma. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, I would along say those lines. The, the reason this whole tweet thing was interesting to me was the last player to kind of do that, like kind of have some fun talking about the stadium on Twitter was Micah Parsons. Yeah. And then obviously the Cowboys drafted him uh, also wore number 11. Um, so it would be taken obviously um, <laughs> if, if you wound up uh, in Dallas. Um, so, so he got it. He got it. Rightfully so. Right. Um, do, do you like, I've never been in the NFL draft. I've never been in the process. Do you like to, is it, I mean, I know we're still early, but, do you like to have fun kind of looking at the photoshops of you or whatever and, and seeing yourself in different jerseys and just kind of enjoy all the different fans wanting you to play for their team? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this ride. It, it's a dream. Uh, you know, it, it's definitely, you know, nerve wracking. You don't know where you're going to go, where you're going to end up. Um, so, yeah, but I'm just going to enjoy it. It's, it's fun, you know, seeing the fans and, you know, and how much they love, you know, their team and want you to be on their team is it's, it's greatly appreciated. So, you know, I definitely, definitely love it. Um, you know, don't don't get into it too much in my head, but just like, you know, just to keep working and, you know, time, you know, we'll get there eventually. But, yeah, it's, sure. it's definitely a blessing. I'm living the dream. Well, everybody believes you're the best wide receiver in this class. Um yeah, and and you can say that without it being a braggadocious thing. Do you feel that way that you're the best receiver in the class of 2023? Um, most definitely, definitely, I, I definitely do feel like I'm the best receiver in this class. I'll say it. I, I'll JSN. Like again, I'm I'm going <laughs> acronym. Like you know what I mean. But like I will say it. Um, your Rose Bowl performance is kind of what everyone is really latching onto from last year. Would you say that's the best game you've ever played in your career? Ever play in my career? Yeah, I mean, I would have to say that. I would have to say it just, just based off the facts. I would have to say that. Um, but I felt pretty good after some some games, a lot of games. But you know, that feeling was definitely different. You know, just super cool. Oh yeah, the facts. You know, the super awesome facts yeah. that uh, you know from my super awesome <laughs> performance in the Rose. Um, well said. Well, Jackson, Panini America is hosting you along with several other NFL players and draft prospects. You're obviously a draft prospect at the Panini Prism VIP event in Phoenix this week ahead of Super Bowl 57. How is that? Is it a lot of fun to interact with different players, both current and future NFL stars? Yeah, definitely. It's, a, it's an honor. They got a lot of guys coming through here. Um, a lot of people that, you know, I've watched. Um, growing up and, you know, current players that are doing their thing. So it's awesome to, you know, have my name you know, with, with these guys and, and be with Panini. It's a blessing. Now, Panini is the exclusive trading card partner of the NFL. People can get their Panini NFL trading cards at Walmart, Target, or hobby stores all across the country. Uh, they can also collect their favorite NFL players as NFTs at, on the Panini America platform at www.paniniamerica.net. Um, who are some players, because you're still new, right? You know, incoming rookie that you did not know um, that you've met as a result of this weekend at the Panini Prism event. Ooh. I think I'm gonna have to spend more time. I, I really just stepped down here, but um, and then who are you excited to meet? Who would you like to talk to and get to know? Uh, current players, uh, definitely. Um, let's see who who we got here. Is Joe Burrow one of one of these guys? Who we got? That oh, Trevor sense. Lawrence. But Tra Trevor Lawrence, definitely. Um, Look at you know, that, I, I've Trevor been with my guy Justin Fields and stuff like that. Um, met him, great guy. Um, but Trevor, uh, I respect his game. I love how he plays and throws and slings that slings the ball around. So definitely, it would be cool to meet him. Yeah, I mean, Justin Fields makes sense. Joe Burrow makes sense. Um, yeah. A lot of Ohio stuff. You know what I mean? Like it makes sense, yeah. just kind of given where you're at um, and and where you've been. Uh, but you're going to be that guy in the future. Like someday, you know, in a year or two years, there's going to be another Panini event. Somebody's going to be pumped to meet Jackson. Like, 
have you thought about how quickly I actually interviewed Trevor this week and I asked him about his rookie year because right now, you know, it. you're getting ready for the combine and everything, all the just the whole process. And then you got to have all your visits and then you're going to get mm -hmm. drafted. You got to learn the playbook and it's training camp right. season. Like you won't get a break until this right. time next year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it's definitely a blessing. Just looking up to guys and, you know, me, you know, stepping foot, stepping in the door and, and encouraging the youth. And, you know, that's what it's about. Just, you know, young guys looking up to me, you know, I appreciate that. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me hungry, wanting to, you know, just keep going and uh, improve my game. So it's definitely a blessing. I'm, I'm happy to be here and happy to keep going, ready for the ride. Last one. Um, I know your brother and his career and everything, but um, what what's your favorite baseball stadium to watch a game in? Ooh. PNC Park is awesome, but like if, if independent of who's playing, what's the best stadium to watch a game in? I'm gonna have to go. I always want to go to Ridley Field. You know, you know that's legendary stuff right there. So hopefully, you know, I can step foot in there and, and watch a ball game. Tell Justin to hook you up, man. I mean, like you, yeah. you have a natural in right there with one of the most Pretty popular sure. people in Chicago. So, um, exactly. wow. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, thank you so much. Best of luck in the whole process. I know I said last thing. This is for real. It. If you're drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, we'll come back and we'll play this clip specifically. So pretend you're a cowboy. What's your one sentence that you want to say? Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> that's putting me on the spot. What would I say? Um, I would say, um, let's go get our goal. Let's win. Um, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> that's what that's what you are definitely ready for the pre-draft process and talking to all these teams uh jason thank you so much uh best of luck enjoy the process you only get to do this once and i hope it is as much fun as you want it to be you deserve it yes sir thanks for having me i appreciate it